I, mean, I know that you know, I think at Auburn, y'all had you know occasionally had a couple of smaller linebackers, but, but I mean I guess that probably wouldn't be the preference. Maybe. Well, I think today in today's game, with everybody running so much tempo offense, uh, you're not seeing the, the uh, called the bigger personnel as we line up in the power row and try to play the old school smash mouth football. A lot of teams are spreading you out and making play in space, and that's. You know that's what the, uh, that's what we're all looking for now. That hybrid linebacker, a kid that can play out there on a number two receiver, uh, can, he can move in the box and he can stop the run. So he brings a valuable, uh, a valuable uh, part of our team uh, for us because he can do, he can play in the box. He's fast. He's smart. He can communicate. He can blitz. Uh, so he, you know he's going to be a valuable asset to our football team. He didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of work on defense last year. But he played a lot on special teams. How he do you did. Think he took. What do you think he took from, from his freshman season? Uh, you know, and at the end of the season, he started playing a little bit more, uh, you know, because the sap was getting tired so much. And he's taking the bulk of, you know, the, the defense as well as a lot of special teams, and he wore down. Uh, but I'm very pleased on where maybe because he goes back from secondary, and then all of a sudden you move him close to the box. You know, things happen a lot faster at that position. Um, I think now with the year in the being in and the year in the film room now, he's starting to understand, uh, you know, blocking scheme, where he fits. I think he's now to the point where he can see the overall scheme, the overall picture on where everybody's at in the, uh, the overall scheme of things.